people building these sites will either be big on ads or affiliate. They will sort of make the vast majority of their income from one of the two. With me, it's more a 50-50% split. I definitely come from a more affiliate-oriented background because I've been at this for a long time and back in the days you just couldn't do the same thing with ads as you can today. So I, I have sites where they are heavily monetized with affiliate and ads will just add this 30% extra revenue to the site. And I also have sites that are primarily monetized with ads where the affiliate side of things is just that added 30%. So when you want to scale your business, if you get to that point where you just want to work with employees or you want to outsource writing or whatever, it's definitely not equally easy to build your site mainly with ads or affiliate. There are some things to consider there and we want to get back to that. And there are definitely some things to consider before you choose if you primarily want to go for ads or affiliate early on with your site. So we'll come back to that. So let's talk about affiliate first here. There's definitely a higher ceiling to how much money you can make from a thousand page views if you're monetizing your site with affiliate. I mean, there's just this higher ceiling, so to speak, of with affiliate because there's some offers there in specific niches where you'll get a lot of money from affiliate if you really target the right topics. So for this site, I've built out a lot of informational type articles that link back to these primary articles on the site that you can call cornerstone content, you can call them money pages or pillar pages or whatever. People have a lot of names for these things, but these primary articles on this site that are heavily monetized with affiliate. I did go in and disable the ads on these pages, just to make sure that it doesn't interfere at all with the user experience. Also because when you have a site that's making that much, or I should say a single article, just a URL that's making that much money from affiliate offers, there'll just be a lot of advertisers in that same space that will try to take those clicks with clever banners. You know, people go crazy with banner ads in the ad industry for these topics. I mean, think about something like best mobile cameras or best mobile subscriptions for X or whatever. There'll just be a lot of really clever banners if you do allow ads on these pages. So I did go in and disable them just because, I mean, if it just interfered a little bit with the affiliate side of things on these URLs, I didn't want that to happen, of course. So these numbers are some of the best numbers I have across my whole portfolio site. So it's definitely not your average numbers. It's just to show you how much and how well you can do with affiliate when you really nail it down the line. And this is not my first site, obviously, but it is actually a site that I created quite a lot of years ago. So it's definitely possible also without knowing all the things that I know today, but I wouldn't go after a site like this for your first site, because remember, if you want to target topics that have this high ad revenue and this high affiliate commissions, you will be in a very competitive space and you'll probably not be able to rank for these terms for the first many years with the site or maybe the first couple of years at least for the site because you need to gain a lot of links to your site in order to rank for these terms because it'll just typically be crowded with other people trying to rank for it since the money is that good, right? So let's talk about ads. Ads is typically what I recommend people start out with if they're new to this or if they're building a new site. So if you don't have an existing site or if you're completely new to this, I would recommend you start with ads because it's just so easy. You just need to learn how to write a good article. I mean, it's just so much easier to find these underserved topics that we need to write for the first many articles on the site when we're talking about informational type content. People also call it educational type content. So these are articles that are not skewed toward affiliate offers. It's definitely not your best X for Y or whatever. These are articles that we want to wait with till we have more authority on the site. And the thing with affiliate offers is that it's easy to overthink things. It's just so much easier in the beginning to go after these informational or educational type articles where you can rank quickly and you'll get a lot of traction with your site and you'll just see more traffic early on and that's very motivating and it's a great way to make money with your new site or if you're new to this. The affiliate side of things takes more time to learn. There's just so many moving parts in there and on the other side where you have this content that you just plaster ads all over, it's so easy. You don't have to think about which topics will do better with the affiliate offers because you'll just plaster ads on all of them. So it's so much easier. It literally takes minutes and in a few days you'll be able to have money in your bank every month 
from the premium affiliate ads on your site. They will set that up for you and it's just so quick and easy to work with. And that also means that for every article you put on your site, you'll be able to make money. I've shown you a couple of times here on the channel how I've taken a brand new domain to around $2,000 within a year or a year and a half. So that's definitely doable. And from there, it's just so much easier. Things will start happening much, much sooner and quicker because now you have some authority in Google. You have those other older articles that are just waiting to rank. You know, you're sort of at this hockey stick face with your site where things are starting to happen really fast. And that's just an awesome place to be. But to get there, you need to get through the first year where you'll see sort of no movement on the site hardly. And that's just a, a tough place to be. And if you're there right now, check out this video that I put out about how to keep yourself motivated through that phase. I definitely encourage you to focus on informational type content. Just answer all these questions people have without you having to think about if it can rank for this affiliate offer or this affiliate offer. Just wait with that till you have more traffic and more authority with your site. I say this because it's important to have a strategy about this because otherwise you might end up confused and with no sense of direction. You might end up writing a lot of business for that or whatever. Just content on your site that will not get a lot of traffic because there's too much competition and you'll just get demotivated. Have a plan for this and of course you can follow my course that I'll have out in a month if you just want to have a laid out step by step plan on how to do this. So I promised you to talk about some considerations to think about before you figure out if you want to primarily monetize with affiliate or ads. And one of the things I want to come back to here is that ads are just crazy passive in the long run. I mean, if you have a site with a lot of traffic and you're monetizing it primarily with ads, you don't need to think about going back and updating all these affiliate links. There are ways to get around this, which I'll talk about in a second, but let's just talk about this a little bit more because it's something that most people don't understand. If you have a site with a hundred different affiliate links, you have to go back and update those links. As some products will run out, other products will go out of stock. Maybe there's a new model or new version out for that camera or whatever that you're linking to. So you can definitely make a ton of money with affiliate offers on your site for sure. I've showed you that a couple of times. But it's just more of an, you can say, an active site. So for this site that I talked about previously in this video where I'm heavily monetizing it with affiliate offers, I have to go in every month and update many of these offers because there's just so much competition that every month people will, I know all my competitors, they will have updated their prices, they will have the latest numbers from this month shown there because it's subscriptions where the prices are so competitive they need to be updated on a monthly basis in many cases. With ads on the other side you don't need to think about it you just put them there and they'll make you money until the article doesn't rank anymore. That being said there are also more creative ways to work more passively with affiliate offers across the site. I have sites where a whole category of articles let's say a hundred articles will have auto inserted this little link or this little box or text or whatever with an affiliate offer across all these articles. So since all these articles are around the same product or the same subtopic of the niche, you can say it makes sense to just automatically insert these affiliate links in the, in the articles. So that's one way to do it because by doing that, you'll have one place you just need to update this link and it can be an info product from Clickbank or just a really, really strong affiliate offer that makes sense across all these articles. And then you'll have it automatically inserted across all these articles. And after a few days, you'll see how many clicks you get to that offer, how much money you'll make with it. And it's just a nice way to do it because when you scale things, you don't want hundreds and hundreds of affiliate links that you need to go over and update over and over again. Because either you have to do it or you have to find somebody to do it for you. And a person who can do that somebody who understands how to keep these pages optimized and how to make the most money from these competitive URLs, they are not cheap. They will typically do this for themselves. You will maybe hire somebody, teach them how to do it, and then after four or five or six months, they'll totally go out and build their own sites because you taught them some of the most crucial parts of building a new site. So that's also why I really like to toot the horn of going hard on ads, especially in the beginning, if you wanna go down this route, of building a huge affiliate site. So I'd say from the beginning, focus on ads and just take your site to 50 or 100,000 page views per month because then you will have a good chunk of money every month in your account and you don't need to think so much about updating your site and all that. 
and then now that you know which URLs and which, article, which articles on your site that are getting a lot of traffic, you know where to work with these affiliate links and you know in which directions you should build out more content in order to make more money with the affiliate side of things. Now you'll also have a lot of content on your site where you can send that traffic to these money pages or cornerstone pages or whatever you want to call them, where you will make a lot of money from affiliate offers. And some of these URLs, just a single article on your site can easily make like three or four thousand dollars per month. I've seen that across several of my sites. So that's something you can do down the road. It's just nice to be aware of that this is definitely possible down the road, but you cannot do this on a brand new site because these topics and these articles would just be way too competitive to rank for for the first couple of years, maybe. So I do create my sites with a long perspective in mind because I know that I'll be making money from the site for the next 10 or 15 years. And I want you to think about it this way too, because I see way too many people think they will just build this site for three or four months, let it sit there and they will never touch it again. You can totally do that, but I would say with increased focus in Google on authority and just that you have good content, Google is getting better at that. And he, I mean, Google is a link machine. I mean, from the very, very first version of Google back in the early days, it was only links. Everything was indexed based on the number of links. If you just went out and created a hundred links and the other guy had like 50 links, you would always beat them in Google. And that's also why they're getting a lot better at finding out when people actively go out and pay for links and do all this link building stuff. That, that, that to me is a huge risk to our sites. That's why I want to build a really clean site where I don't go out actively and build links to my site because I know Google is really, really good at this link thing. So as Google gets better and better and better at this, they'll definitely be able to tell when the site have a lot of natural or you can say organic links pointing to the site just because a lot of other bloggers and journalists actually wanted to link to this content because it's that good. It's so easy for them to see when that is happening or when they have a site where the owner of the site just went out and paid for links and just created this massive outreach email campaign to bombard people with emails to, to link to them. I mean, I guess that's pretty obvious to Google by now. That's also why we're seeing more and more sites ranking with zero backlinks. You know, you can easily get to 50 or 100,000 pages per month without hardly any links to your site. And I haven't seen that to be the case several years back. So that's why I want you to choose a clean strategy and just go without all these old school tactics. So again, you should definitely do both down the line. You should definitely start out with ads on your site. If you're not showing ads on your site, you're doing it wrong. You're just leaving money on the table. Don't leave your site without ads because there's so much money to be made from ads in almost every space today. The ad rates are just growing year after year and it's not hurting the user engagement. It's also not hurting the amount of affiliate clicks you'll get because people are so used to seeing ads all over the web now. I actually think that a site that's set up well with ads, where the ads are actually implemented in a beautiful way, it just makes the site look bigger and more authoritative. Because I mean, if you're watching any of the bigger sites out there, sites with real authority in Google, with a lot of traffic, they always have ads. You just need to work with the ad agency, a Zoic or AdFrive or MediaWine or whatever, and have them work with the setup of the ads until you think it really looks beautiful. I mean, when was the last time you, you landed on an article on a site with ads and you thought, ah, I don't want to read the site because they have ads. I mean, it's not something that's turning people away anymore because there's ads all over the place and they set up beautifully today. So when you work with MediaWine, AdFrive, or Zoic or whatever, ad, network you want to work with, just make sure that they have them set up properly so there's not too many of them and they are in line with the content and they just, you know, just have it work well with the general layout and the theme on your site. Then it'll do magic for you. It'll just make you passive money every month. But please, if you're starting out with a new site today, please don't start out writing a lot of best X for Y or best reviews for these products or whatever. You know, all that content that's heavily skewed toward the affiliate side of things. I see so many people do that. So for two reasons, this is a very bad idea. First, it's very, very hard to rank for. It'll be a long time till you see any traffic on the site. If, I mean, if you will ever compete for these articles on a new site. And two, it just makes your site look very spammy. I mean, who would trust the site where the majority of the articles are, is just best cameras for kids, best this for that, best this for that. And here's, by the way, is 50 reviews about all these products. I mean, that shows no authority. It doesn't show that you know at all what you're talking about. 
So I would say it's a much, much better route to take to write a lot of informational or educational type content first. Then down the line, you can, you can hook all these articles with internal links up to your pages with affiliate offers where you know you'll do well. And it'll also, also be easier to rank for these affiliate heavy articles down the line when you have attracted some links organically and people just want to link to your site because you have all this awesome content that's educating people and teaching them everything there is to know about these products and so on. So if you want to know exactly how I do this step by step and how you should go about these things, when to do what and so on, I have my course coming out in a month now. I'm so, so excited to see what you guys will do with it and I can't wait to get my community launched around this YouTube channel here. I love reading your comments. Please keep adding them. I love interacting with you guys and thank you for all your kind words. They're really encouraging to me. So it's so close now. I'm just putting the final touches on a few videos and I'm having my programmer going over some of the last technical details that will enable you guys to view the course online and all that good stuff. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.